Hello, my name is Nicholas Stadden, and today we're going to talk about how to repot an Alberta spruce to a bigger container. Now, those of you that might have sensitive skin, I would advise you to put your garden gloves on, but I'm going to pass on it today. They tend to be a little bit sharp on the needles sometimes and can bring a rash, but uh, use those if you will. So here we have an Alberta spruce in a really nice five gallon green container. We're going to put this into this beautiful terracotta container. The first thing we do, the very first thing, we find an old broken pot or some pebbles, that sort of thing. And we place these over the drain holes, not so the water can't run out of the bottom, but it's so the soil doesn't drain out. So I've got three little drain holes here. And then what I do is take a handful of soil and I'll place those on top of the pottery shards so they don't move anymore. And then we take our beautiful Alberta spruce. Are you looking forward to this? Oh, yes, I am. Take the container off very gently. There we go. Nice root system and place her very gently into the container. Make sure she's nice and central because once she's in there, it's kind of hard to remove her again. Take my shovel and very gently start to put the soil in. Now I've got a real nice uh, potting mix here that I bought from a local garden center. It's uh, very organic. And the young man at the garden center said, uh, Nicholas, about halfway through putting all the soil in, take some slow release fertilizer and place that into the soil. So when the roots start to come out from the root ball, they start to get some food. You'll notice that my soil is just a little on the damp side and that makes it much, much easier to put into the pot. Okay. This is going to be a beautiful plant. And you know, for Christmas time, you can have this by the front door. You can have it by the back door where people come and go. You can even put white or red lights on this plant. I saw one last year with blue lights on it. Looked absolutely fantastic. A little more slow release fertilizer. Conifers tend to, uh, they tend to like fertilizer that's a little high on the nitrogen side. So that's the first number, six or seven. There we go. Cover up the slow release fertilizer. And there you have a beautiful Alberta spruce that can grace your patio or your front door. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia on how to repot an Alberta spruce into a larger size container.